I was like, you know what? I really don't care about my Ferrari. You know, my, my car that I'm driving right now gets me to where I want to go. I don't want to work that much. I'd rather go out fishing. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Sean Zubor. Welcome to Stonehouse Talks, your resource for success. Thank you for joining me on another smoking hot day. Don't mind the sweat beating down here. The only thing hotter than today is what we're going to talk about, okay? This is priority one in probably most people's day, especially salespeople, is how do I stay motivated, okay? I'm going to go over some parallel, most important secrets that you'll probably ever hear about being successful and motivated consistently. Okay, let's talk about this. All right, I'm a huge fan of probably every motivational speaker you've ever heard, and they all really come down to one thing in common, and it's finding that driving force that makes you wake up every morning to do the things that your competitors and everybody else doesn't wanna do, all right? So what is that? Well, I can't tell you that, unfortunately. I wish I could, but the reality is you can find that out from yourself. So let's talk about it a couple different uh, reasons and ways that we can, but I'm gonna talk about a, a little story that if you know me well, you probably heard about it before. It's how I found my true motivation. In my first year of real estate, I did well. I sold six places in my first six weeks. I was super ecstatic. You know, I had this amazing motivation. I'm doing this new job. I'm doing this new role. I'm pumping away. I'm gonna make $40,000 this month. Unheard of income, like my yearly income from before. You know, like it was just something amazing. But then all of a sudden that money came in and then the next month I did nothing. And then the next month I did some money. And I came into that roller coaster that a lot of salespeople and a lot of entrepreneurs go through. So why do they go through that? It's only one reason. They lose motivation or they feel that what their motivation or their real goal motivation is really isn't that. Like for example, you can raise your hand in your house, I won't tell anybody, but have you done a vision board before? I have. Actually, probably about 10 of them, realistically. And what do you put on your vision board? Well, I can tell you what was on my first. I had Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, helicopters, mansions. Y you name it, I had it on there. And you know what it did? It showed me a bunch of cool stuff that would be awesome to buy. But it did nothing for my motivation. And the reason for that is, is genuinely, I'm kind of a simple guy. I like nice things, don't get me wrong, like the regular person, I, I like a nice car, I, I like a fine steak, I drink some good scotch, those things I'm all about. But at the end of the day, if those went away and I still had to do the things that I really love to do, spend time with my family, do my fishing, do you know whatever the things that really make me happy, I don't really need to have those fancy dancy things. So what ended up happening is I'd make that money and then I realized, wow, that was way too much work. Now I'm just gonna spend that money that I have, live a little bit less lavishly, and then when I'm bankrupt again or close to it, I'm gonna make that money back again. I really didn't have that real why, that real motivation. So that was the clue, your real why. Let's talk about that. A couple different ways on how I found my why is I actually had a mentor in place. I use the toddler method, okay? So this is a method that um, if you have kids, you know all about. And if you don't have kids and plan to have it, you will know all about. And that's every child always continuously asks you why. So let's, for example, dad, why is the sky blue? Oh, because the particles in the sky. Why are there particles in the sky? Because this, 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 exact, et cetera, et cetera, the why method. What I did is I used that on myself. And this is something I highly recommend you do. When you ask yourself, I wanna be a success or I wanna make a lot of money, what's the next question? Why do I wanna make a lot of money? So for example, for myself, is I wanna make a lot of money so I can maybe nice have some nice things. I can support my business, I can support my wife, I can support my family, I can do the things I like. Okay, why is that important? Because I want it to be successful and you know, I, I think that that's what I want. This is what I was reimagining in my head. But the reality is if I really truly break down to why, what I really want in life, it came down to legacy to me. I want to create something. The reason why I'm doing this video right here is not the fact that I'm wanting to start a coaching program. <laughs> On contrary, I don't. The reason I'm doing this is I want to create a legacy. I want to be able to help people. I want to grow something that wasn't there when I wasn't, well, before I uh, became alive. 
So long story short, that's my true why. When I work every morning, I look back and I say, okay, why am I waking up at 4.30 or 6.30 or 7.30, whatever the time is, why am I doing that? I'm doing that because I want to create a business that can flourish, that can go public, that can be around long after I'm gone. That motivates me. That's my true why. You know, instead of when I'm waking up in the morning and saying, oh, I'm up at 5.30, I'm gonna work my butt off because I want a Ferrari, guess what? And the, you, the, your why may be that Ferrari, but in my position, I was like, you know what? I really don't care about my Ferrari. You know, my, my car that I'm driving right now gets me to where I wanna go. I don't wanna work that much. I'd rather go out fishing, you know? So these are the realities that you need to find. True motivation, external motivation is amazing. I love when my partner riles me up. My, one of my coaches, Jill's all over motivate, motivate, motivate. When I watch 10X on Instagram and Facebook and I do all these things, it's amazing. I watch Arnold Schwarzenegger, I wanna go to the gym. You know, when I watch fighters, I wanna get back to fighting. These are all things that really do motivate me, but they motivate me for a short term period. I am not gonna be motivated to the extent that I am right now without a consistent thing that I look at daily and say, I have it written down, Sean, you are doing this because you wanna create a legacy. And the reality is, is when I'm doing something, I'm having a beer with my friend, I ask myself, is this beer helping my legacy or is this beer bringing me back? And I consciously make a decision that I'm willing to give up a little bit of this, I'm willing, willing to give up a little bit of that to make sure that I'm continuously motivated and going where I'm going. Now, the other great thing about motivation is contagious, okay? You can motivate others and others can pe people can motivate you. So for here, for example, here at Stonehouse is we have an amazing culture here that is continuously people surrounded by people that are motivating each other all of the time. This is incredibly important. If you're around a bunch of negative people, good luck being positive. It is tough. Cut yourself out of that situation and find a place where your positivity not only gets better, but flourishes. These are the important things. Anyways, once again, if you have any other questions, please leave a, a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. I can't wait to make you a success.